Hey Jackal, in this video I'll show you how you can improve the sound quality of any microphone when using DaVinci Resolve. But if you just want to know how it's done and hear the final result, check the timestamps. Otherwise, continue watching and learn something new. Now let's get digital. I won't be using the Samsung Q2U, which is what I'm using now. Instead, I'll use a cheap no-name microphone. The microphone is connected to the PC and you can go to the system audio, right click, open volume mixer, this is on Windows, system sounds, you will have the microphone listed under the high definition audio device, you can right click, go to properties, you can listen to it if you want, but you can also adjust the levels, so the volume and the boost. In my case, using the boost on this cheap microphone is not the best, I'll quickly show you what I mean. And as you could hear, there was a lot of noise, which is not what you want. So I'll leave the microphone boost to off. I'm using the OBS Studio to record both microphones. This is the Samsung one and this is the cheap one. But because I want to do this in real time, I'll do it in the Winch Resolve so that I don't have to edit this audio. You can change the default device. In the recording tab, you can go right click, set this as the default device. Alternatively, you can go to DaVinci Resolve, Preferences, Video and Audio, and set the input device to the one that you want to use inside DaVinci Resolve, which in this case is the microphone high definition audio device. Click Save, and because I want to do this now in real time, I'll go to the Fairlight page, but before I can do that, I have to make a new timeline. So I'll quickly make it. So now I have an audio track, I can go to the Fairlight page, I'll now go to A1, when it says no input I'll click it, click on the input, select the microphone, if I didn't change it, this would be set to the Samsung Q2U microphone, which I have is set to default in the window settings. Click on patch, in the audio I'll now hit record and mute so that I don't hear myself and that the speakers also don't play any sound, and once I hit record I can start talking and this will be recorded in DaVinci Resolve, but also in the OBS. Hey Jacko, in this video I'll show you how you can make a cheap microphone sound good. Now let's get digital. So this is the recording done, I can now unpatch this, and I can also unmute the track, go to the edit page. So let's take a quick listen, but I have to turn off the microphones. Hey Jacko. In this video, I'll show you how you can make a cheap microphone sound good. Now let's get digital. Now what you want to do is to adjust the volume. You'll want to increase it, but increase it only so that it is in the yellow range. Don't go into the red. Hey Jacko, in this video, I'll show you how you can make it. So this is okay, but at the beginning we have a lot of noise. To fix that, we can go to the effects, audio effects, type in noise and simply put it onto the clip. This will pop up. Now the good thing about this is that it's also available in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. You will simply click auto speech mode, go to the beginning and press play. Hey Jacko, in this video I'll show you how you can make a cheap microphone. Now as you can hear the noise is pretty much non-existent. I can also increase the volume and see how much noise is left. Hey Jacko, so there was some noise left, but for the volume that I'll be using, it's non-existent. Now, if you have DaVinci Resolve Studio, you can also select the audio. In the Inspector tab, go to the Audio tab and select Voice Isolation. This will make the noise pretty much non-existent, even when it's very loud. This also sounds good to me, now I don't have my headphones on, but what can also happen is with voice isolation the voice can get cut off, so just lower the amount to something less than 100. But for this example I'll be using the noise reduction, so I'll disable this and enable the noise reduction. And for the noise reduction to work the best, you should have a couple of seconds of no speech. Ideally more than three, in this case I only have one second of silence. Now how the voice sounds depends on the microphone 
And to make it sound better, you'll go to the Freelight page, go to the EQ, double click on it, and enable it. You can now use the presets. I'll just use Dialog Mail. This will give me a bass that you can use. You can set the frequency. Usually this is around 120 to 100. You can also adjust the gain, but you can always do this at the end by adjusting the gain down here. Then you'll simply play the audio and adjust the points as you see fit. I'm no audio designer, so I'll just use the settings that I find the best. And if you want to have a continuous loop, use O at the end, enable the loop option, and use Alt and forward slash. Hey Jacko, in this video I'll show you how you can make a cheap microphone sound good. Now let's get digital. An easy way to use the equalizer, at least in DaVinci Resolve, in my opinion, is to listen for peaks. And I'll show you this with these three notes. So let me unmute the clip and you'll hear what I mean. Hey Jacko, in this video I'll show you how you can make a cheap microphone sound good. Now let's get digital. So about here is the peak hey, Jacko, and what you want to do is simply go in the opposite direction. Hey Jacko, in this video I'll show you how you can make a cheap microphone sound good. Now let's get digital. Hey Jacko, in this video I'll show you how you can make a cheap microphone sound good. Now let's get digital. Hey Jacko, in this video I'll show you how you can make a cheap microphone sound good. Now let's get digital. And now let's listen to the result of the cheap or mic cheap being less than $20, first the audio is unchanged, so there should be a lot of noise, so let's skip ahead to the section with only the noise reduction applied, which is better, but kind of dull. And finally, this is the sound of the cheap microphone with the equalizer applied. Now I also intend on comparing the Samsung Q2U microphone to the modification that I'll be making to this cheap microphone. The goal will be to see the difference in quality versus the price, but that is for another video. So if you want to see it, subscribe to the channel. And that's it. If you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until next time jackals, keep it digital.